I was about five and at my primary school sports day and I just remember racing and going on like a horse afterwards. It's a really weird memory, but I think that's like etched in my mind as my first time as ever actually like racing. I probably was like 12 maybe. I think that was my first time at a track down in Nina. At the European under 23s in 2019, it was the first time I was like, oh, I'm actually okay at this. I think I finished like ninth in Europe and it was the first time I really thought about like taking it like a lot more seriously, yeah. I think I was under 20 and I won the national indoor uh, 200 meters. Um, yeah, when I was back doing 200s, that was my first big win. I think I ran 24 seven, which was a huge PB. I used to do like 100s and 2s and um, probably wasn't fast enough for those so I think again through process of elimination I think 400 metres picks you and that's how I've ended up here. It means everything, like this is the pinnacle of our sport, it's what I've thought about since yeah 2021 since the last Olympics, um, I've wanted to be here competing individually and um, for the relay for our country so yeah. My coaches. Definitely, like they have been the ones that have showed up every single day. Days that I really have not wanted to be at the track have definitely been in like a bad mood, not the nicest person and they still show up every single day giving 100%. So definitely Jeremy, Jerry and Aideen, a big shout out. Jessica Ennis Hill, I was obsessed with her. I got her book for Christmas when I was like 12, I think. I'd say I read it like 11 times, I'm not messing. So I was obsessed with her. I grew up on a farm and we used to have ostriches, uh, so it was an ostrich farm and then we got rid of the ostriches, we actually gave them to Dublin Zoo, so any of the ostriches in Dublin Zoo are ancestors to the Becker ostriches, so there you go. <laughs>